So we're doing this video kind of in a reverse order. I did the video guide after I had it apart and figured out how to fix it and thought, you know what, this is such a little pain in the butt. It'd be nice to share this with a few people. So I kind of share with you what I did as I was putting it back together. So hopefully these segments will make sense. You can scroll ahead and go back, but everything's there you need to know to see how to reattach these cables and how to secure them in a way so they won't be popping off again anytime soon. All right, enjoy. So I'm gonna work this backwards. We have a Honda Ridgeline here, the right rear seat. This is a 2007. I've had it since new, but you know, one day I went to lift the seat and guess what, the seat wouldn't lift. You guys have probably had that happen, right? It happened on the left side years and years ago and there was a several hundred dollar fix and I just poked around and took it apart and found out the cable had just popped loose out of the slot at the handle. And uh, I figured out how to put it back in place. The interesting thing I did is it popped out again later and this is a different side of the car, but the next time I put it back in, I just put a little zip tie around it I could still the cable could still move freely but it's been eight years and the other side has never popped out again so I'm just doing the same thing here like I said I'm working backwards now this cable at the bottom here where the release latch is on the back of the seat actually did not come out it just moved very freely it could pop out there's a slot behind that uh, spot it catches there so I just put a tiny zip tie around it to hold it it can still move freely and you know the, the cable has slack in it they always do but it can't pop out anymore now where my issue was was over here um, actually if you're ever doing this yourself w once you pop off the cover and you'll see as I put it back together you can push this latch manually and release your seat and move it around okay so anyway this uh, cable over here came out you can see the cable down in there you can see I have a little zip tie around it. That cable has an end on it. You can see the metal in there and it actually has an extension on that tip that goes into the uh, receiver on this handle so it pulls the cable. But again with the slack that cable can move itself away from where it sets an eighth inch or so and pop out and that's what happened. So what I did on this end I simply put a small zip tie around the gap that's in the area where that end of the cable fits into the plastic. I just put the zip tie in there to really fill the space so that cable can't move enough um, in theory to pop out anymore. But I put the cable end in such a way here on the top where it connects so that that fat area is not in the space where this handle has to slide. All right, that makes sense? Hope that's helpful. So as I put this back together, I pop this loose. There's no way you can get in there to the end of that cable if you don't drop this handle loose from its base. And the way that works, there's a couple of screws in here that you take out, and I've taken them out at this point. Um, and I'm just gonna screw them back in. Uh, but that just allows this to be loose enough so you can move it around. And you'll see after I put the screws in, there's a little plastic plate that pops over the top of that. And you can't even see that there's screws there. Honda makes everything very secret, don't they? It's a bunch of BS, but it is what it is. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. So now putting the screws back in the lower seat handle, hold it back where it needs to be. And I'll show you the plastic cover that goes on Mine are painted green for some reason. Maybe that's the secret code saying they were tightened in the original assembly, who knows. All right, now I'm a one-handed mechanic. It's a pretty large screw head. This Phillips screw here, it's not your medium tip, it's a larger tip when you go to take this out so you don't strip the heads. It is a good size screwdriver tip. Uh, it's a size above your medium. I don't know what number those are called. I'm giving it a nice little gut shot here. Okay, so I'm doing a retake here on this little area where we talk about this plate. It's got to come off to get to the screws that are under there to drop the uh, <clears throat> the release handle uh, down a little bit to play with the cable. So let's show you how this comes off and goes back on so you got it right. To take it off, we're going to release these little clips on the front first. They just pop out. And then what happens in the back is there's two little 
clips that, that go down and set down. Oh, sorry, we got a little close up here. They set down in here underneath the handle itself. They're two little ears. So let's just look at this really quick. And there's those screws we spoke about. Look here. Little ears on the end of this, they need to go in first. So where it recesses down, so where it recesses down into this area, we're going to put the bottom in first. So you can see the two holes there. We're going to put these ears in, and then we'll just press this down. It'll pop back into place. Okay, there we go. So now that's back in. So there's that R and R. So we're kind of going in reverse order, but uh, <laughs> you can see the little ears here that fit all along the edge to snap your cover back in place. The other thing I'll show you, since we're in reverse order, there's a little stud here, right here. This is a boss that will receive a screw from the back end here. As you can see right here, there's going to be a little hole where a screw is going to come through right here and have a screw into that boss. In the order, hopefully, you're going to go, it'll be unscrewing from that boss, okay? So we'll put the seat back down. And I'll go ahead and start popping this back into place, okay? Because my latch really does work. So we've got these little ears back where they're supposed to go. Start snapping ourselves into place here. more little let connectors that go in here you can see along the bottom Let me get further away so you can see there's more connectors here on the bottom by where the latch is there's three points here that will snap back into place as well put a couple down here All right Let's get this underneath these guys all slide under. So let's try that again. So these three here are a slotted connector. See, they actually are grooves. So they need to slide under this piece and then snap into place. Okay. Remember, I'm doing this with one hand. You can use two if you want. in place okay now you can see here's where the screw hole is almost looks like a little wood screw or sheet metal screw go in this spot this one is a smaller tip medium tip Give it a try. Cool. Pretty clean for a 10 year old H line with 120,000 miles on it. <laughs> Still going strong. Hey, enjoy. I hope it goes well for you.